Well, hey there guys, this is just a quick look tutorial at another one of my Angel Wing Mandela designs. For a more in-depth tutorial of my Angel Wing design, design space setup, and how I use them in a shadow box, make sure you visit the link that's below in the video description because you can find that longer tutorial there. This is just going to be a quick look. I'm going to be using my Cricut machine to cut out my angel wing design. Um, you can use the Explore, the Maker, you could even use the Joy if you make these small enough. So you'll want 65 pound cardstock up to 100 pound cardstock. You could also use a glitter cardstock like I'm using here. I'm also using some foam strip tape here and it's kind of thick so it's going to create a little elevation in our design. And you may also want to have some scissors and a weaving tool in hand to get the backs of the tape off. I also use a brayer tool to push my material to my Cricut mat when I'm cutting these out. So I already have my design cut out here and we're just going to go over how I would layer this together. So here's one side of my angel wings layered and you can see it's got those pretty layers there. And we're just going to go ahead and start layering this side now. So there are six layers to this and I'm just going to flip all those other layers over and we'll start with the two bottom layers here. I'm going to grab some of this 3D foam tape. And you want to add this on. You just want to make sure you add enough on to where you know it's going to stay stuck. You don't have to go too crazy with it. I like these strips because you can kind of curve them and mold them to the design. And I have resources for this below, so make sure you check that out if you want to know where I got this from. Trimming these down, these pieces down here. So we're just getting this completely taped up here. It's a very straightforward approach. I think creating paper mandelas and paper layer designs like this is a perfect craft for beginners. To Cricut because it lets you warm up to using paper which was one of the most common things to use with your Cricut machine. It also lets you get comfortable with using the different paper settings whether you're using a heavier cardstock or a lighter cardstock or a glitter cardstock so I think that's really great. So what I'm doing at this point is once I get enough of these little foam strips stuck on here I like to use my weeding tool to get those paper backs off. It comes in handy instead of trying to pick at it with your finger the weeding tool will help you get that. So this is one of three angel wing designs that I have in my freebie vault, members.abbykirstencollections.com. All three of these designs are free. I made all of these free because I think they're great as a gift, a decoration, something to use maybe if you have, when you're memorializing someone. So I wanted to make those as a free gift for my community. So you just want to go ahead and line these layers up when you're ready and it's pretty easy to see where they're going to line up and go. Take your time with it. Look at the screen in Design Space or the original SVG in case you need to get a better idea. That's always a great way to make sure you're getting things aligned properly. And all we have to do is literally repeat this a few more times for each of the layers. So each layer is going to look a little different, but the concept is going to be exactly the same. We're just going to add on those foam strips, remove their paper backings, and then line it up, focusing on lining things up on the right side of the wing, and then keep going until we run out of layers. As you get down to the last couple layers, you might need to take your time a little bit more because the layers get a little bit more thin in areas. That's why I like these strips because they usually work really well. If you struggle with that at all, the last layer can always go on with a little bit of glue if you want it to. So it's not a big deal if you need to opt for that. That's perfectly fine. Just use some sort of liquid glue that dries clear. Okay, so there we go. I have both of the angel wings done. Now how you use these, there's lots of different creative ways you could use them. Um, I'm going to link another video below where I put them into a shadow box where you'll see the third design, so make sure you check that out. 
And then here's a look at another one of the three designs. Slightly different style to it here. I did this one in purple colors. If you want to see how I added it in a shadow box in the video below, um, I did them in sort of creams and golds and metallic colors and it turned out really pretty. Um, and I used it in a shadow box and I have some additional like files that went with it where I added a little quote to the front of the shadow box so it's really cute. Um, if you want to see those make sure you visit the video below and you can find all three of the designs in the vault. And again, that's going to be linked below the video for you. So all I'm doing here is repeating this process. I am literally just adding those strips, removing the backing, and then layering them. So I'm getting down to the last layer for this one. Again, I love using these foam strips because you can really get them into small areas, but if that's a struggle for you at all on that last piece, feel free to use some sort of liquid glue. I've done that many times on lots of my different Mandela designs. All right, there we go. So there is another one of our designs. I'm going to show you a picture um, at the very end here of the third design as well, which you can find linked below in a separate video tutorial where I do a little bit more in-depth setup on that. So really pretty. I'd love to know how you would use these. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you there. Bye for now.